obviously the other tool that's going to be very very useful to you is the channels view so this is an image here of me and if i go up to image mode you can see that this image is currently saved as an rgb file so this is an rgb image which means it's displaying all the colors you're seeing on there using just red green and blue and what i want to do is switch to cmyk because this is what printers was used for uh, rendering an image as a, as a printed image using inks rather than light um, and so that the image pretty much looks exactly the same it doesn't appear any different but the difference is obviously that now we're actually rendering this in Photoshop and you can see and identify the CMY and K channels if I go up to window and click on uh, channels here it will then reveal to you the, the four different channels that we have. So all the CMYK channels are switched on, the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And if I turn them all off except the magenta, what you're getting now is a map that shows you where the cyan is on this image. And where, the, where it's darker is where there's more of it, and where it's paler, there's less of it. So you can see my eyes being, because I've got blue eyes, they're quite dark, the background is blue, so that's very, very dark too. So if I switch that off and go to magenta, then the background is no longer the darkest area. Now what's dark is where there's a lot of magenta red. So you can see my ears, for example, quite a lot of red on there, there's no surprise. The lips, there's a lot of red. Around the base of the nostrils, a lot of red. And here you can see on my cheeks, particularly, very definite sort of speckled pattern of red around on the cheek and around up here on the top of the head there on the temple around my neck so again you've identified by you know picking out that particular color it identifies where on this image the magenta is living if i switch the magenta off and go to yellow you can see there's quite a lot of yellow in my beard no surprising got a very orangey beard and there's quite a bit of yellow in the brows, obviously, and up here as well, and flex, and, and where the red's worth, there's also quite a few sort of deposits of specks of yellow. And the black, and that's showing you, obviously, where the black is, dark t-shirt, wherever there's darkness in an image that's on a screen, that darkness is, by definition, you know, a reduction of light. So it's gonna be uh, rendered with black. So that's gonna show you where the black is. But it's really handy to know where your cyan, where your magenta, and where your yellow is actually based in the image because then it kind of just kind of clues you in a bit more as to where you're going to need to put the reds it may be that when you look at a photograph you can see straight away where all these colors are and that's fine but that's why i'm saying this channel tool is quite helpful if when you look at an image you just see all the pic all the colors on the picture and it, it's, it's hard to pick them apart because when you're sticking on a prosthetic that's just one flat color and you're gradually building up a realistic paint job and you're trying to replicate the effect of real skin because you're doing it so slowly so gradually and you're doing all of it it's very nice to be able to sort of go from the ground up and actually identify early on where your reds and where your yellows and where your blues are going to be and if you're having trouble doing that with a normal uh, photograph it is very handy to have a tool like the channels option in photoshop to actually be able to break that down to very very obvious levels and uh, like I say it's, it's, it's a handy tool to get you started